facilitating teamwork and team meetings. Frontline staff work in teams, and it's the task of the practice leader to facilitate teamwork. Good teamwork means staff must communicate, interact and think together. Team meetings are important for good teamwork. They provide opportunities for staff to come together, share information and discuss support strategies. Poorly run meetings can be tedious, but if team meetings are well organised and managed, they can be productive and build team spirit. Frontline supervisors can use the following strategies for effective team meetings. Prepare for the meeting. Before the meeting, write the agenda. Think about what you hope to achieve in the meeting and how you will do this. Put the most important issues at the top of the agenda. Keep in mind, the purpose of team meetings is to improve the way staff work as a team in enhancing quality of life. Prioritise discussion about each person the team supports, their quality of life and how staff are enhancing this. Plan to discuss each person towards the beginning of the meeting and allocate sufficient time. Review the minutes from the previous meeting and note topics that need to be followed up. You can also review notes from observations and supervisions and look for patterns across team members. Circulate the agenda before the meeting so that staff know what will be discussed and they can suggest additional topics. During the meeting, keep focus on the people you support and their quality of life. Do this by discussing each person and using the eight domains of quality of life, such as choosing a domain to discuss in relation to each person you support. For example, you could ask, how is their quality of life? And how can it be improved? You can also discuss the four essentials of active support and how staff can use them to enhance each person's quality of life. Team meetings also provide opportunities for staff to develop their skills and to learn from each other. You can ask staff who demonstrate knowledge and skill to share information about how they provide support. And it's good to give staff the chance to raise and collectively problem solve any difficulties they experience. Chairing a team meeting is a skill. You need to create an atmosphere where everyone feels comfortable contributing to the discussion and their opinions are valued. Some ways of doing this are Encouraging staff discussion by asking open-ended questions. Ensuring everyone has a say by asking each staff member to have input. Respecting everyone's opinion by listening to what they have to say. Ensuring everyone is following the discussion by summarising key points as the conversation progresses. Minutes provide a record of the meeting and should include a summary of the main points that were discussed, any decisions and follow-up actions, and who is responsible for these actions. Team meetings are an opportunity for staff to come together and can be used to establish a positive culture. This means a culture that is motivating for staff, that is enabling for the people supported, one where staff are respectful of the people they support, and where there is a shared purpose among team members.